Now, I know I couldn't be the only person that when you saw this on your phone, you were like, oh, no, somebody's trolling. Something's going on. This this is a mistake. But then you see more and more and more and more people tweeting about it, breaking news. Cam Newton really got released from the New England Patriots. And I'm like, how? What? Why? For what? Now, for Mac Jones, uh, he obviously did his thing in the preseason and, and he must have shown the Patriots enough to where they were like, all right, cool, we rolling with you. But my question is, why wouldn't you want to keep a Cam Newton uh, as, a, as a backup? Especially him going into his second year with the Patriots, him having an even more understanding of the system, of the players, of the coaching staff, of everything. Uh, I'm, whoa. But maybe now that I think about it, because my initial reaction was like, wow. And it still is, wow. But I wonder if it's one of those things where Cam Newton may have request. He may have found out, oh, I'm not going to be the starter. Can I be released? Can you release me? Because that's that's a big possibility. Now, I haven't seen any reports on that, but um, I, I, I don't I don't know, man. Uh, but that's that's just wild to me that Cam Newton is being released uh, with Cam Newton over these past two years. The timing of everything that's going on with him has been terrible. It's been absolutely just terrible timing. Reason I say that is because remember last year. This guy, he got released. The, the Panthers released. They took forever to release him. Took forever. And they released him to the point where this guy, it, it would be tough for him to catch on with a team and get a starting job. But what happened? Patriots came calling. Patriots came knocking. Cam Newton answered the door. And he said, all right, cool. I'm with it. Let's do it. Um, and then, of course, last year with the whole COVID thing, that was an unfortunate situation for Cam Newton. Um, and that kind of derailed everything with his progress with the New England Patriots. So now this year, you fast forward, it's like, all right, Cam Newton got a whole offseason with the Patriots. Uh, we, actually, everybody got a full offseason this year because last year there wasn't even an offseason. But Cam Newton got a full offseason with his team. He gets to learn even more. He gets to understand even more. And he talked about it on I Am Athlete. He talked about when he fell behind. He said it was, it was tough catching up because everybody got to keep going. But you got to play catch up. Uh, but this was like, all right, this is going to be the year Cam Newton can do his thing. Yeah, they drafted Matt Jones. That's cool, whatnot. But Cam's going to start. He's going to be the starter. So then after training camp, well, for first, after free agency, after the draft, after training camp, and even after preseason. Again, the timing is terrible for Cam Newton. After all of that, the Patriots are like, mm, we're good. We're, we're, we're good. You can go. It's like, whoa. That's why I say I, I wonder if this is Cam Newton, if he requested his release. Now, of course, there was this, um, this, this whole shenanigans, this whole misunderstanding with Cam Newton and the Patriots, I think about a week, a week and a half ago, um, to where Cam Newton was outside of the facility. He did take his test, his COVID test, and they were all coming back negative. All coming back negative. So he was he was keeping it clean. So he got back to the Patriots facility. He still tested negative, but since he was away from the facility and he hadn't been getting the tests that were administered by the NFL, then they were like, Oh, you gotta stay away for five days. You gotta stay away from the facility for five days. And I was like, Oh, okay. All right then. Well, um and, and that it, it seems as if uh Cam Newton and the Patriots uh, even if you watch the preseason, and uh, it, it seems as if they were in sort of an awkward space. Sort of. Not too bad. Not nothing crazy anything, but sort of an awkward space. Um, and you knew, we all knew, like, when a team drafts a quarterback in the first round, they're going to take over eventually. We, we all know that. Cam Newton knows that. I mean, he was an example of that with the Panthers. They drafted him number one overall. So, of course, he was going to take over. Uh, but even if you have a quarterback in place, whether he's a placeholder quarterback, somebody that's been there for a long time, whenever you draft a quarterback in the first round, you're going to go to that quarterback eventually. But I, I just I didn't think it was going to come like this soon. Uh, so that's that's crazy. As far as uh, Cam Newton, um, what's next for him? Mm, wow. Uh, wow. That's crazy. I don't think Broncos might be an option. It could be Broncos. Um, it could be a nice little backup for the Dolphins. Just in case uh, there's the... P no. 
I was about to say Panthers, but <laughs> Panthers, no, not Panthers. <laughs> but this is crazy, man. Like Cam Newton got released. Released. Wow. Like, it's like last year when Cam Newton got released, it was like, okay, we, we know he's going to get released. Just make it happen already. We were just waiting for it to happen. We were expecting it and waiting for it to happen, and it took forever. But this year, I don't think anybody was expecting it. And boom, it comes in it, but it comes now. Uh, but anyway, we'll see what happens with Cam Newton next. Uh, this is just, this is wild, man. I love y'all, though, team. Keep it clean. I hope y'all are having a, a better day than Cam Newton is. Again, unless he requested his release. Then he'll probably be having a good day. Um, but, wow. That's why. I, I wonder where he's about to go to next. Anyway, I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. And just like Cam Newton is now, with, when it comes to being with the Patriots, I'm out.